Hi, Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to find out what does your person in mind think about your last conversation. And please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me for Earth Signs, Virgo, Virgo Taurus, and Capricorn. What does your person in mind think about their last conversation? on the floor it's give me one second <clears throat> hmm seven of wands in an upright position at the back of the deck hmm nine of pentacles here this was the first card let me show you okay nine of pentacles well this person can be someone new okay or someone old could be anybody but uh, i'm sensing this could be someone for a lot of you at least 60 percent of you okay this could be someone you just getting to know each other better because nine of pentacles here indicates someone who has some money or has high standards or that you've saved a lot of money i'm saying saving because we've got the eight of pentacles here so um, this person perceives you to be a hard worker and that you are independent self-sufficient again and that you do have money okay <laughs> well you are an earth sign so most earth signs are pretty good with their money or that they come from money um some of you maybe you do come from money okay uh, if not, I feel like for a lot of you, you work really hard for your money. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles. This whole row here, just now I showed you the other two. And this whole row here, <laughs> they are all Earth energy. So there's something about you, Earth signs, that's very true to you. I feel that um, I'm hearing the word original, okay? they could this person may be thinking about how you are someone original um down to earth or some of you may be down to earth but some of you with the nine of pentacles here you may dress a certain way where you look rich or that you look you have money okay you look like you have money <laughs> so could have pentacles about somebody reliable um somebody secure or that you are financially secure um and if you look at the queen of pentacles here the queen of pentacles can be a mom or someone who wants to be a mom or someone who could potentially be a a very reliable mother or partner okay it depends where you're at right now but i feel like this person after your last conversation with this person um they do have a lot a lot of respect for you who you are essentially as a person how original you are, how how grounded you are, hardworking again. You pro probably, um, you may say certain things to this person. I don't know. I feel like this is someone new, okay? Earth signs, if you've been currently talking to someone, um, feels like a very new energy because they have this, this perception of you where it's you, right? As... <laughs> It's like getting to know you better, that kind of energy I'm getting here. If this is someone you're separated from, the Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and Queen of Pentacles, maybe they have a lot of respect for you. Um, ever since your last conversation, you may have decided to become single and then work on yourself and work on some sort of a project, work on your um, stability here with the Queen of Pentacles. And eight of wands here is in row first, and we've got the five of cups and nine of cups here. Hmm. This for me, earth signs. There are two nines. 
these two nines for me indicate again independence but also somebody whom doesn't need anybody so it's like you're, you're pretty good at um, doing whatever that makes you happy and you may indulge a little bit for some of you, you may have told this person that the things you like to do the things that you do um, on the weekends every day um, definitely you work a lot of you you work whether you're working on yourself or on something right now and I feel like um, they think you don't need anybody you have everything you have everything that you you want <laughs> except for especially if you're single except for a real partner okay uh, a romantic partner that's what I'm getting here and you may have also told this person five of cups here in regards to your past there's something that you're disappointed about in regards to your past um, some losses that's what I'm getting here and um, but it's like you're good and it feels a bit positive to this nine of cups so this person I feel like they may see you as someone like despite all the challenges despite all the hurt and losses in your life um, you still remain as po you try to remain as positive as possible okay that's what I'm getting here but if you're separated from this person five of cups you may be a little bit sad about something you've said to them um, from your last conversation because eight of wands isn't up first so something about you just you may not seem to loving towards them or that you perhaps did not show that you desire them as much as they would like to hmm. we've got the higher font here so you're a proper person <laughs> so this person may ever since your last conversation with this person they know that you're serious or that you're a proper person you do things by the book um you can be trusted you may have taught them something, you may have said something to them and it has taught them something or given them some ideas. Um, it could be about anything, okay? And the Hierophant can indicate religion, spirituality, if you're not into any of these things. But, well, you're obviously watching tarot, so I guess most of you are spiritual in a sense okay all could be religious doesn't matter if not you're just a really good person okay we've got the knight of cups here in my verse and also we've got the three of swords in my verse some of you i don't know there's another story that i'm getting here it's almost like uh it feels like one second feels like you may have said something where they could f they could have felt a little bit rejected as in you don't need them um and maybe you are kind of jaded you are going through healing and recovery because of something that may have disappointed you in the past okay so so two groups of you are signs one is maybe someone new you may have told them about your past something about your past or that you may have expressed some disappointments in regards to your past it feels like They have this sense of you with the seven of wands here that you're very protective of yourself. You may even sound a little bit defensive, okay? They may feel like you're a little bit defensive or that you're just protecting yourself, right? From getting hurt or that. Uh, seven of wands also can indicate someone territorial, a little bit possessive. <laughs> uh, I'm also an earth sign, by the way. Uh, for those of you uh, new here uh, with my channel. Uh, I'm gonna pull out a few more cards. Eight of Cups. They may sense that you maybe you've talked about something about again your past or your your ethnicity, your background, something you walked away from. I think this person has an idea of you, of having a lot of like past. Well, we all have a past, right? But something that, or something, a situation, or someone that you may have left behind, you had to leave behind, or it could be leaving behind a, a country, a place, or leaving behind a marriage, leaving behind things that you used to invest a lot into, okay? Because we've got the Eight of Cups here. So, from your last conversation with this person, I feel like they're 
uh, they do empathize they do empathize because we've got the king of cups here they empathize you for your situation what you've been through in your life and i feel like a lot of you are self-made so they may think that you they have a lot of respect for you again and they empathize you and uh, if the king of cups is you it doesn't matter king or queen not gender specific but they may also have this perception that you are kind and when you feel you feel deeply you can be quite sensitive or very in touch with your emotions although you're also somebody very practical uh very logical with all the pentacles right here and i've got the queen of wands here in reverse okay so they don't think you are a slut <laughs> again doesn't matter the gender um they have this perception that you're not a slut because maybe you don't talk dirty with this person or that you don't seem overly how do you say um because the eight of wands is also in reverse so either they think or that they thought ever since the last conversation that you you were not interested or not interested anymore unless this is someone new then it may show this person may show like you're actually a proper proper individual <laughs> you don't you know you don't do dirty talk or it's i don't know for those of you in if you've met this person online, yeah, especially if you if you met this person online or if this person is someone, again, kind of new, that's what I'm getting here. But, you know, the thing is, Earth Science, your last conversation may have led this person into thinking that um, perhaps they're not good enough for you. Yeah, perhaps it's really hard to break that barrier, that barrier with you, seven of wands here. You may have said something too that made them feel a little bit conscious. Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't say sad or upset, but a little bit like, hmm, I think it's a little bit hard to get earth signs, especially, no, no, they get you, they empathize, they get you as in, especially if this person is like chasing after you, that's what I'm getting here. If this is someone new, if this is someone you separated from, yeah, from your last conversation, they may, they may be thinking that you don't want to talk anymore, and you're being overly defensive, protective, and that, and that you're just focusing on your work. You're not focusing on them. They may also think that you don't love them anymore because it's not a cup tears and love first. Or they may also suspect that you don't really want to express to them how you truly feel as in um, if you still love them or not they suspect that you are again seven of wands and a king of cups here it's like you are overly protective of your heart well i mean of course because we've got the th three of swords here in one first and that means they have hurt you right if there's someone you separated from or going through some issues with um perhaps they have hurt you and they also could be thinking that their wish is actually to have to get some attention from you but at the same time it's they also could be thinking that you you don't need them you don't need them two nines here it's um it's like nine of pentacles and nine of cups it's like you don't need them so it makes them feel like you don't need them this is in general okay and then perhaps you're walking away from them with the Eight of Cups here, or you've already walked away from them. If you're separated or going through some issues with this person, okay? All right, Earth Science, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, this is your reading. Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. I'm open for, I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Um, I'll leave you with two playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel, check, uh, check it out if you want to. And the second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs for different topics and different questions. But these readings are still valid, they're still relevant because I post them almost every single day. In any case, Earth Signs, I hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Take care, bye.